Hello everyone and welcome to Crypto Ready. If you want to be ready for crypto, you're in the right place. Now today I want to talk to the XDC community because I am a XDC holder and I've been a XDC holder for many years now. So I want to start talking about XDC and why is it such a big crypto and why it will take the trade finance area by storm in the coming years. First of all, I'm going to start off by talking about Andre Kosterman. We were told by him there was going to be a TFD initiative webinar taking place on April the 13th. This, would, this was huge news for the Zinfin and XTC community because it's going to be talking about a brand new trade finance tokenization service, a world's first ever. But we had a, another tweet by Andre Kasterman earlier yesterday that he needed to reschedule the TFD initiative session because they need to kind of develop more things behind the space. Now the thing is guys, we are willing to wait for this because we know what XDC is worth and we know what the TFD initiative is and it's such a huge space and it's gonna take this place by storm guys. So it's worth the wait. So we're gonna keep an eye on Mr. Andre Kasterman's tweets and hopefully we're gonna have a new date in the future. Moving on to looking a bit more into Andre Kasterman and who he is. Well, I've gone into his profile on LinkedIn and something that kind of caught my attention was that he has management experience in Swift. He has seven years at Swift in software development and 17 years at Swift in new market and product development. Now, why does Swift matter? It matters because Andre Kasterman has got 20 plus years of experience in Swift. Now, Swift, you might ask, what it is. Now Swift is phasing in ISO 20022 as a standard for cross-border payments and cash reporting from this year in November. From the end of 2022, the previous messaging standard will be supported for backwards compatibility purposes, but future investments will be focused on ISO 20022 standards. Now why does that matter? Because ISO 2022 is something that the banking and financial institutions globally use now with swift swift messages are the current standard but the iso 2022 standard is a much better system so by 2022 november europe is going to be switching on going live with iso 02022 and then from next year november november 2023 Everybody else, such as USA, are going to be going live with this. Now, why does SWIFT even matter? Why does ISO 2002 matter? Because XDC is a ISO 20022 compliant cryptocurrency. This update stands to level the playing field for digital currencies globally. Only those digital currencies that are compliant with this standard may be used in a centralized setting, which is for banks, trade finance, institutions all over the world. Now moving on to the next bit, if you go onto the Zinfin website, they clearly talk to you about interoperability with ISO 20022 standard and legacy systems, so it can be integrated into the current system very, very easily. So why do cross-border payments even matter? Looking at a page from the Bank of England, over the past few decades, the increased international mobility of goods and services, capital and people has contributed to the growing economic importance of cross-border payments. The value of cross-border payments, guys, is estimated to increase from almost $150 trillion in 2017 to over $250 trillion by 2027. Now, that is a huge increase, guys. It's a massively growing market. So ISO 20022 really matters because this is the market XTC is gonna be disrupting. And I found this little little information, um, a little paragraph that I wanna share with you. And I do agree with it because I understand that XTC is much better than ETH, Ethereum. And it's it's, transaction settlement is like 2000 
and every two seconds it can settle a transaction with finality. So looking at some of the figures, Ethereum uses a large amount of energy where XTC uses almost nothing. And it costs less than a penny to settle a transaction where the average fee for Ethereum, I mean it shows $10 on your screen, but I know I've seen these fees go up to hundreds and even thousands of dollars just to settle one transaction. And proof of work guys, as you know, doesn't work. Proof of stake is the way forward. It is the new generation, the way things are gonna be going in the future. Moving on to the next bit. Why does global trade finance even matter? It matters because it is a huge, huge market. The gap hit a new all-time high of $1.7 trillion in 2020. So imagine what the gap is like now in 2023, 2022, because of COVID and all the stuff that's been happening. So we need to pay attention to XTC. So if you don't hold XTC, you need to look into it, do your research, because I'm not a financial advisor, I'm giving my personal opinion here, but I'm a holder of XTC and I believe it's gonna do very well in the long term. And then we hear a lot of Coda, because Coda is another platform, and, and if you wanna know what it is, I'm gonna explain it here. Looking at the uh, Google website, Coda is an open source blockchain project designed for business from the start. It allows you to build interoperable blockchain networks that transact in strict privacy. Coda's smart contract technology allows businesses to transact directly with value. So why does Coda matter? Coda matters because it has partnered with Zinfin and they are going to be using XDC token as the primary settlement coin. Now. Who uses R3 Coda? Well, it is used by over 400 institutions, including global system integrators, cloud providers, technology firms, software vendors, corporates, regulators, and financial institutions from private and public sectors. So it is highly used by the big boys, the elites, the big organizations. So R3 Coda matters. I'm going to talk about some hype here, but a tweet from Pierce Veer XTC. Hype alert. If XTC is the Ethereum killer, XTC would be valued at $33 a coin. I agree with him, but Ethereum, I don't see Ethereum as going away because now they move into 2.0 and they, I believe they move into proof of stake. So Ethereum ain't going to go anywhere, but I think XTC is going to take a lot of their business away because it is much better and much more efficient to use, especially with the green energy narrative going on at the moment in the world. I think XTC is a no brainer. It is a much better coin and overall it can kill Ethereum. It can take its market share. Now, before I go guys, there's a few, two more tweets I wanna to talk to you about. A tweet from Lyft Capital. They say the world needs more XTC. It's a trade finance game changer that will allow SMEs, SMEs are small and medium enterprises, to become victorious over competition. Now he's absolutely right here because small and medium enterprises need help in this area. They need to be more competitive and I believe that XTC is going to be disrupting this market and it's going to help small and medium enter enterprises to be more competitive. And before I go guys, the last tweet from Lyft Capital I want to talk to you about is they say rug pulls are happening left and right. And we are dollar cost averaging into ISO 20022 coins. Life is good. Yes, they are right. If you want to avoid financial loss and, and get don't want to get stuck in these hype coins that get rug pulled at the end, I would suggest guys you stick to the ISO 20022 compliant coins because that's the future, that's one of the bits that are not going to go away, it's a disruptor. So pay attention to the ISO 20022 coin guys, XTC is the one to hold for long term. If you're looking at short term gains, if you're going to be looking at the prices on the short term guys, it is not for you because this is a long term coin so I believe by well before 2030 we are going to see xtc go viral across the globe and it's going to be used by major major institutions and it's going to be making a difference to 
every average person's life. So huddle strong guys, be patient, don't look at the markets on a daily basis and I'm gonna be back guys on another video and I hope you enjoyed it and if you did enjoy it guys make sure you hit the subscribe button and leave a like. Thank you, bye bye.